welcome to the first time to Hard Knocks Tarot. If you are looking for some spankings or if you fell into Hard Knocks Tarot, then you are needing some spankings. So stick right here. I'm going to give you a general reading from Spirit God, uh, our angels, our guides, um, source, God. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we do. We channel in the messages. Okay. Not all of these messages are going to relate to you. This is a general reading. Please, um, please understand that the messages that do relate to you, that speak to you, those are yours from your guides. Those are yours from God. All right. God uses all of us as tools to um, get shit done. All right. So God uses me as a tool to get shit done. God uses you as a tool to get shit done. All right. Believe it. This is simply a bridge. We're tuning in like uh, in a radio. No, not tune in Tokyo. Get your head out of the gutty, crazy muff. Let's come on. Uh, you know, we're just tuning in to all the, um, all the wonderful, uh, oh, all the wonderful, beautiful, crazy energy that makes up, um, this makes up this beautiful life. Okay. Um, this is my favorite. This is going to be my, um, my holiday uh, mascot for Hard Knocks Tarot. Knock, knock, knock. Knocking some sense, knocking some love, knocking some uh, good vibes in you uh, while we're uh, while we're looking into these energies. All right, so I am really going to try really hard to stay away from the topic of the past, and the topic of uh, our ex, and the topic of love. Uh, it's like romantic love. Okay, I'm just I'm really would like to vibe higher up to, um, not that love is not a high vibe. I want to talk about love. I want to talk about um, uh, not uh, the kind of love that I've been talking about, all right, because that's coming into a lot of my reads. And I, let me tell you, I just don't like it. So um, so I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm talking to my guides right now. I'm talking to you. Uh, my intention is to vibe higher. Let's talk about um, love for um, our fellow man. Let's talk about love for um, the person that um, that you are uh, sitting on that bus uh, bench with. You know, I want to talk about that kind of love. I want to talk about love uh, that that you carry in your soul, that you carry along in your heart, that you carry along with you all day. Okay, unconditional love, that deeper, higher level love of love that um, it really is untouchable. Okay, um, I don't want to talk about surface love. I don't want to talk about past problems. I don't want to talk, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to tap in to anybody's bad energy. My intentions are good here. Mm. I'm getting verklempt. I want everyone to heal, okay? So we're going to start off with the uh, Native American Oracle card deck. And um, the, this is not a tarot card, so I am going to refer to the book. All right, so let's get an overall energy of the read. Let's see uh, what Spirit wants to talk to us about. All right, our guides, angels, galactic council. That is the group of beings that helped us to decide how we wanted to pay our karmic debts from our last existence, our last life. All right, these are helpers. These are also angels. They're helping us um, maneuver our souls, helping us, counseling us, guiding us throughout this journey, throughout the spiritual journey, this beautiful awareness, this beautiful existence that we call life. What a mysterious thing this is. Um, it, it is amazing. Life is amazing. I don't care how bad you think your life is. Consciousness is a miracle and I'm very grateful for it. All right. Of course, we are thanking God. Our higher selves. We Each of us have a higher self that speaks to us. That is of higher frequency that is more evolved than we are presently. Time is an illusion, okay? Man created time, it does not exist. Energy is fluid. I could be picking up on somebody that you have been 
thinking a lot about. Okay? Because we exchange energy. We carry energy, we expel it, and we take it in. We exchange it with each other. Okay, keep all that in mind. I would appreciate uh, you supporting this channel. This is an autism family. You are supporting autism awareness and just autism life um, and all special needs when you support this channel. Um, shout out to um, special needs families out there. Um, it doesn't hurt anybody to like their video, all right? It just helps. It just gives out good karma to support, to support like that. You're taking today, give back. Like, subscribe, comment if you uh, if you feel the pull to, all right? I'd love to hear from you. Whoo! Let's get started. All right, let's do it. What do we got here? Overall energy for this read. Overall energy. Overall energy for the read. Pull this back over here. Oh, yeah. I have them. Overall energy for the read. Native American Oracle. Here it is. Whew, it took long enough. All right, it's number six, guys. Number six. Number six has a bad rep, all right? Number six is change. Number six is healing after realizing the need for change, okay? So it's not necessarily bad. Um, it's actually a good thing. What do we have here? What animal is this? It's the beaver. <laughs> I don't know. All right, beaver. Construction. Beaver is smart, hands-on, practical. Make it happen smart. He is an engineer and a builder, both rational and creative. In his work, we see the perfect application of inspiration and ideas. Beaver is not a plotter though. He takes only the time necessary to figure out a solution and then proceeds to do what needs doing. Efficiently and very often with style even. Being able to work with materials this well shows a, deep, a deeper connection than simply physical to create to synthesize form and function with environment awareness and with beauty requires a relationship with the elemental spirits of one's building materials the canoe is another symbol of efficient engineering so this card is asking you to look deeper to find the understanding required for the most elegant solutions understanding finding a deeper meaning okay and this is what i was talking about before before we pick this card looking deeper getting deeper understanding how people work how, understanding how people think problem solving creating inspiring this might be hitting home for um, people born in the month of may more so all right the beaver, working with your hands, understanding that um, that the construct of something is spiritual as well. Okay. Whew. All right. Very very good. I'm gonna move on to the some tarot over here. Uh oh, my bratty ass cat. Jerry, be good. Jerry, be good. Be good, Jerry. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for joining me today once again. Let's get into this read. Constructing, building. Understanding there's a deeper meaning. All right. Let's get uh, let's get six cards. Let's get six cards, please. Okay. All right, 
right, what we have here is the Page of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands. The Magician. The World in Reverse. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Three of Cups. Just looking over these cards generally, Spirit is trying to let you know that you need to start working better with others. There's some unfinished business here. Absolutely. You are trying to manifest. You are trying to create something new, perhaps a business. You have a project of some sort. There's a project here that you are very focused on. But there is a blockage. You have some unfinished business here. You're very passionate about this. You're very hard at work. This is a fairly new thing that's happening here. Um, but you're determined. You're excited enough about this situation that you are determined to see it out. And you are willing to do anything it takes to get it. What you are lacking is the ability to work with others. You need to open up a little bit more with this Three of Cups. All right, let's clarify these cards. For the collective, spirit. thank you for the words and the cards. My lonely rice ball. Rice ball's buddy, Kawasaki, flew away the other day, so now I just have one lonely bird. Come here, rice ball. Come here, rice ball. Aw. Oh, poor rice ball. Poor rice ball. So lonely. They fought all the time. All the time they fought. But then, when that moment, I think they're both boys. That moment when he flew away, and I saw it with my eyes. Rice ball was sad. You can tell he was feeling really depressed that day. All right? Don't worry, I have a Christmas present coming your way. All right? And it just might have wings. <laughs> All right, no more hints. Rice ball, you tricky bastard. Trying to give away your Christmas gift. All right. Clarifying the page of pentacles, please. Ooh, what's going on? A slow start, but an idea nonetheless. Ooh. You see this face? This is the Ten of Swords in reverse. All right, the Ten of Swords in reverse tells me that there is some a lot of pain that is still needing to be healed here, collectively. So, you have this idea, you don't think, mm. I'm just hearing that you don't think you're good enough for it. Ace of Cups. You see, you're just looking at that laptop, just staring, staring into nothingness, wanting to do this, but. I, I am hearing that somebody um, brought this opportunity to your attention. So if it's not something new that you have created for yourself and now, you know, something has happened and uh, you lost your, uh, you lost your momentum here. Um, it's an idea that someone's pre presented to you that you like, you're excited about, but you're just not ready. You're depressed. If you're not depressed, you are very sad, all right? You're sad that, uh, you know, you might, you might be sad that, uh, all right, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. This is what's coming out. The Ace of Cups in reverse is a missed opportunity, a missed opportunity of love, a missed opportunity, period. Um, cuts are emotion, cuts, is love. Um, I should. 
I shouldn't. Okay. Spirit clarify the Ace of Cups in reverse. Please. Let's get a clear picture. Thank you. The Swink card in reverse. Depressed. Exhausted, even. Staring at the computer screen. Not remembering what you just read, what you just looked at. Seven of Wands here. And the Three of Wands, see? If this other situation wasn't on your mind, what you really want to do is you want to jump. You want to do this. You're ready. You're ready to, to start this new venture. You're ready here, you're not ready here. And it's affecting your mind. So some imbalance going on here. You're thinking about a disconnection. You're thinking about someone that gave you love, gave you warmth, not just love, but the type of love that you would get from a wife or a husband. Family, a closeness, your, that nest, that feeling of belonging. Yes, I know without a doubt that I like this, that I feel good here, that I feel secure in these arms. I do feel like you are missing the ability to lean on this love to lean on this connection in the eyes of God in the eyes of the universe in your eyes A bond stronger than any earthly bond, a divine bond, a divine agreement. But that sounds so cold. It's not an agreement. It's I take you. I take you in front of all these people. It is official. I want you. You are my family. You are part of us. You are part of me. We are one. We are one force. It's official. There's a loss of this. There's a loss of this bond with somebody that was very nurturing towards you. Somebody that took care of you. When you were sick, they helped you get well. When you were hungry, they helped you get food. They cooked for you. When you needed money, they gave it to you, no problem. None of it mattered. This is what's in your brain right now. This is what's holding you back from this opportunity that has been presented to you. It's heavy. Let's talk more about this opportunity. Three of Pentacles. It's being guided by the universe. This is something that you need to work 
This is something going back to the beaver. This is the work of the beaver, all right? This is a situation where it's not just a construction or building of something. This is important, and this is being backed by the universe, by God, uh, by your guides. This is being supported by the whole gang, by the whole crew, the whole spiritual gang crew, because it is purposeful and it is going to affect people, uh, lots of people. We are being used by God, okay, for the greater good, for the grand plan. Okay. Um, and this corner of the universe, this is, you're up, okay? The curtain is opening and you're, you're up. It's time for you to go on stage now. And this is a responsibility that you're being called to by the universe. to support some kind of movement that is going to help the collective, okay? Our brothers and sisters, our fellow man, everybody here on this planet and other planets, okay? You can't sleep here at Hard Knocks Tarot. It's okay. Sometimes it doesn't. Today it's feeling deep. Just roll with it. All right, let's get more about this, this project here. Spirit wants you to... Really take this in. This is a look at this. It's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, wow. We have the Fool and the Eight of Cups. Fool in reverse and the Eight of Cups. There's resistance here. You don't want to take this on. Bottom of the deck. Two of Pentacles. You have to let go of something to start this project. This project is going to be taking up a lot of your time. This project is going to require you to learn new skills. This project is going to require you to work with people that you might not want to work with. You don't want to be the apprentice anymore. It makes you feel insecure. It makes you feel like doing the opposite, okay? So like a kid when they don't know the answer and they are called to the board and they don't know how to figure out that math problem. So instead of looking foolish in front of their classmates, they're going to draw a picture of a butt with a fart coming out of it instead. That's what you're doing. Instead of going with the flow and saying, all right, what does life have to offer me? What am I to learn? Who am I to meet? This is very exciting. Who knows what's going to happen? I'm so grateful for the mystery of life. What is around the next corner? I don't know. I'm so excited. What is it? Mm -mm. You're like, no, I don't like this. This makes me feel insecure. This makes me feel like I don't have a strong foundation. This makes me feel powerless. This makes me feel like I don't have control of my life. Walking away. <sighs> Cuts again. Love. Emotion. You might not be mentally prepared for this because you are going through some heartache and heartbreak over here still healing I feel like you tried to get into this with the six of cups it means you tried it means you tried or are trying clarify the six of cups but I'm giving up Five of Cups. You gave up and you regret it. Yeah, you're thinking about it. You're thinking about how you missed this opportunity, how you had this opportunity to grow, how you had this opportunity 
to learn on how you fuck it up or how you can fuck it up. The Magician, what's going on with this card over here? What's going on? Give us more on the Magician for the Collective, please. And we have the Two of Cups in Reverse. This is a divine connection. This is a partnership. You can't get around the love of the Two of Cups. One moment, please. All right, we have the Two of Cups in the reverse with the Magician card. Let's get more. going on here spirit what's going on here the world card the sun the queen of wands in reverse <sighs> you're thinking about somebody <laughs> damn i tried huh i'm really trying over here thinking about somebody heavily somebody that's that's changing your life that's changing who you are you're reflecting on this person but you're resisting whatever energy they're putting out towards you collective you are resisting it you're resisting you don't know what to do you're in conflict you don't know whether to manifest this in or to push it out but this person you're realizing is Helping you to grow. This person is illuminating your world. This person is putting the mirror on you. It's a hurts, hurts so good type of energy. Okay. like you don't want to admit who this person is in your life to you keep rejecting this this energy and you just feel this pull the world card and the queen of wands You do feel charmed. You feel charmed. You feel like you are in the midst of somebody else's magic. And you don't know what to do with these energies. Sometimes it feels good. Sometimes it feels bad. Or find the Queen of Wands in reverse, please. You don't... You're trying to stand in your own power. Collective. You're rejecting this person's energy at this time, or at least trying. See? You're hopeless. You don't see the hope in this. You don't believe what they have to say. They don't. You don't believe what they see in you. You don't believe what they say. You can't even trust yourself at this point. You see? You see this whole situation as a failure. <sighs> Why? Too many cards. Fam, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give a like to this video. If you're still watching. 
time for me to heal now. I wish I could take back my words. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. Collective, you're trying to release this person. You feel guilty. You're appreciative. You feel like this person is holding on to you and pushing your nose in the shit and won't let you go. It's dragging you down. It's like you can't stop thinking about how you fucked up. All right, but it's not this person, it's you. See? I do feel like this person is feeling you, collective. They're thinking about each other. The world card in reverse. This is clearly not over. You do want it to be. But spirit says no. Hmm. I find the world card in reverse. You might be far apart from each other. I did see this. The King of Pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of maturing to do here, collective. Like I said, there's a lot of learning to be learned here. The Knight of Swords. The Ten of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. <sighs> lots of pentacles, lots of cups. I do feel like you have something to say about this, about this ending. And I'm laughing because I tried so hard to stay away from X and, and, and love, but it just keeps coming back in. It keeps coming back in. And I'm not going to lie about the cards, you know. When some tarot readers, they say, okay, I'm not, I'm going to do a money read. It's only about money. And cups come in. Cups is about emotions. They're, it's about love. You can't deny it. If the reading wasn't supposed to be about emotions and love, then cups wouldn't come out. And if you trust your cards... Okay, and it's not just about the cards. It's not. It's about energy. You're reading the energy. I get that. But at some point, the cards are coming out for a reason. Okay, we're being guided. You went from the King of Pentacles in reverse to the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You have a huge hole in your heart, Collective. A huge hole in your heart. Huge. And you don't see how it's ever going to be filled. Ever. Not in this, life, not in this lifetime. And you've got so much to say about it. You do. You just want to wreck this. You want to wreck this reality with a fucking wrecking ball. Clarify the Knight of Swords, please. That Emperor. You want to take control. You want to say, you know what? I fucking had it with this bullshit. I keep getting fucking bullshit. I fucking had it with this bullshit life, is what I'm thinking. I, this is what I'm going to do. All right, listen up. Listen up, people. Are you listening? Because I'm only going to say this once. Listen up, people. This is how it's going to go down. All right? This is the kind of energy I'm getting from this right here. You've had just about enough of everybody and everything's bullshit. All right, so your pain... Your pain is actually moving you to a positive direction because now you're getting up off of this tree stump. You're getting out of this daze. Okay, sometimes it takes us to get angry. A lot of times it takes us 
to get angry, to start making moves in a positive direction. It's real easy. Look at, start making moves. Wands, knight, young, fit. Energy, stamina. This is good. We're getting out of this. We can get out of this. Okay. Remember, time is an illusion. I could be picking up energy from past or future. Knight of Wands. Look at that. I knew you had a good heart. You want to give back. I know you have a grateful heart. I know you do. I know you do. Remember family, if this could help somebody that you know, please do not hesitate to share this video with someone that you think that could use this, uh, this little, uh, this little, road of guidance here okay we are just mere uh we're being used by god and it's not a bad thing it's beautiful all we are god we have all of us have a little piece of god a lot of piece of god inside of us and we're we're making moves we're making shit happen we're raising the vibration of the collective we're getting closer to source and it happens in the small things okay everything is purposeful and everything is beautiful and uh, life's not easy I understand that, but there's a meaning to it. There's a deeper meaning to all this. Do not let fear stop you from enriching somebody's life. We have the King of Swords in reverse here. What's going on with that? I think you're still in thinking mode. You're, you're getting ready to make some moves. You're getting ready to take some action, but what I'm fearing here, collective, is you're not going to explain yourself very well. So you might get uh, misjudged here. You might, you might be moving too quickly, actually, and not taking the time to um, think about things, think things through. All right, so I want you to watch out for... Just whatever moves that you decide to make, just make sure you're thinking about the whole picture, how it's going to affect people in your life, how it might affect you down the line. Okay? You need also to watch out what, how you're thinking and make sure that, um, that when you are taking these actions, that you are being thoughtful um, about the whole gang, about your whole spirit tribe. All right, about your tribe here in the 3D also, of course. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the Knight of Pentacles here. Pentacles, Pentacles, Pentacles. Mind on your money, money on your mind. But as we're revealing here, it's not just a job, is it? It's not just a project, no. There's more life. There's, there's more than meets the eye, right? There's a lot more going on under the surface, the symbolism of whatever this project is, how it's going to affect other people. Yeah. It's not just a job. No. Ten of Pentacles. This is an assignment that brings stability. This is an, an assignment that is going to bring riches Look at how this couple is looking at each other also. I'm sorry, I can't help but see what I see. This is going to bring stability in all areas of your life. This is what you want. You want to start focusing 
You want to start focusing on the long term. Creating that stable foundation. Let's get more on the Ten of Pentacles, please. Woo. And it's the Page of Pentacles. It is this new opportunity that has been presented to you. Okay, Page of Pentacles was the first card out. So you realize you're going through these growing pains. You're realizing that this is worth it. At the end of the day, you stripping yourself of ego, letting yourself be vulnerable, dusting yourself off, and getting back in there. You know you need to use some temperance. You know you need to be taking some deep breaths. Okay, because you want to rage when it comes to this emotional stuff, when it comes to this connection, and yet you turn into a little kid when looking at this brand new opportunity. So, unbalanced energy. Definitely looking at this uh, new opportunity as something that you are willing to fight for. It does bring along a little bit of stress. You do feel like you need to You know, put all of your energy towards this. That's why it's important that you heal whatever it is is causing you to rage. Okay, but I do feel like you're calming the beast here. I do feel like you are starting to look at things you're really trying. You're really trying. You are really trying. I'm really proud of you. There's definitely some growing that you are kicking and screaming the whole way. You are. It's very uncomfortable. This is uncharted territory. You are not. You weren't planning for this. You were dragged by the fucking collar to do this here, to go through this metamorphosis, to become a butterfly, to get off of your belly and to fly. You're, you've been fighting. You've been fighting this, I feel, for a long time. But now you see this great opportunity. And you don't want to get stuck in this low vibration. You see how great this is. You want to succeed. I feel like you need to look at this situation differently. This past love situation. You need to see it with different eyes. Once you see this person, this situation... Through a more balanced, mature lens, you're going to see the value of the person, the value of the experience, and you're not going to be so enraged. You're not going to be, it's going to be more balanced, okay? You're going to be more of a balanced emperor. You're going to be able to look and say, okay, yeah, that's what that was. I do feel eventually you're going to want to give back and say thank you to this person, you know, because they gave you they gave you the, the gas that you needed to get from point A to point B, and, it, and it's huge. It's a huge step that you're taking here. Huge step. It's good. It's good stuff. Get more. You're willing to fight for this. You're willing to fight for yourself, which is something new, um, and, and not uh, not defensive, okay? But fight for your happiness. Exactly. Fight for your own justice. You've been cutting off your own fit, foot. You've been fucking up your own shit. Whoever I'm talking to. Whoever this read is for. The opportunities, it's like, you always make the bad decision. 
It's because you have been in this poor me mentality. You've put your own straight jacket on. And wonder how it got there. You put it on. You put it on. I do feel like you're fighting for your mental health. The Three of Cups. You're going to have to open up the heart shop for a little bit more. Okay. It's not easy. You're going to have to let a little bit more emotion. You're going to have to let yourself open up. You might have to cry. You might have to let someone see you cry. Don't cry by yourself. You might have to let someone just open up a little bit. Okay? I, I heard someone say, go to counseling. And I heard, nah, fuck that. I'm not going to counseling. Talk to a friend that you trust. Be vulnerable. See? Been so defensive. Been so defensive, collective. What else? Yeah, look within. Speak to God. Go into hermit mode again if you need to. Take as long as you want by yourself. But when you're there, think good things. Think about what I've been telling you today. It's time to look deeper into the constructs of what is going around. There's always a deeper meaning, a deeper purpose. That's right, heal yourself, collective. Allow yourself to be happy. Drop those thoughts. Get some sleep. It's time to heal. It's time. It's time. It's time to give yourself the opportunity to be happy. To be stable. All on your own. You see? You're hiding. Collective. There's still some things that you don't want anyone to know. There's still a lot of emotion here. You're really trying. You're really trying your best. You're really trying to open up to be more transparent, to be more real, to be real with yourself, be honest with yourself. Page of Cups in Reverse. Wow. Eight of Wands. There's somebody that you want to rush towards that you have no communication with right now. The Page of Swords in Reverse. See? You want to rush towards them. A missed opportunity. Because you didn't handle the situation right. Five of Swords in Reverse. This was a challenge. Not just a challenge. This was fighting. This was someone getting in your face. This is someone challenging you. This is a missed opportunity. Ace of Swords in Reverse. Page of Swords in Reverse. Page of Cups in Reverse. You're thinking about reaching out to this person. But you don't want to fight. But you want to reach out, man. You do. You have this urgency every now and again to just be like, hey, fuck this. Let's, you know, fuck this. I, I care about you. I want you in my life. You see this person in your life in the future. Period. Point blank. Let's get one more card from the tarot deck and then we'll close it out with a couple of messages from the moon. One more message, please, from the collective. You respect this person's spirituality. You guys are connected. And you want to create with them. You value this person's intellect and knowledge and wisdom and everything else. It's a love-hate situation here. Growing pains, my friend. Growing pains. 
All right, let's get some more advice here. Let's get some advice. Closing out the read. Thanks again for visiting Hard Knocks Tarot. I hope I didn't spank you too hard this time. Sometimes I like to spank really hard, and other times um, I don't like to spank that hard. Maybe I'll tickle your ass with a feather. <laughs> and other times I'll just... Just hand cheek. Just make light it up red. Um, I'm feeling very mellow and empathetic today. And, you know, this read, honestly, kind of made me a little bit nauseous. Um, because of the growing pains that I'm feeling. The energy of the growing pains is not fun. Um, but it's necessary. And it's, and it's good. It's good. All right. Let's get three messages, please. Get three messages from my collective. Three messages from my collective, please. This one wants to come out. A time for healing. Oh my gosh, how many times? And how many decks? Seriously, bro. Three different decks. Healing, healing, healing. Hello? Get two more cards, please. Two more cards, please. Thank you. The energy is gaining momentum. Yep. How long can you hold out before you have to rush into this person? And the end of a tough cycle approaches. Absolutely. We got one world card in reverse. One in the upright, a cycle is trying to end. It's time for you to heal collective. It's time for you to level up. It's time to, for you to raise your frequency. It's time for you to give yourself justice. It's time for you to allow yourself to be happy. I love you. This is Hard Knocks Tarot. Come back next time. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. And I'll see you in the next video. Namaste. I love you! Mwah! Have a great day.